Hey, greetings. This is Brother Jim at Don'tPerish.com, John 4, 24 Radio. Hey, what a beautiful South Missouri sunset. We made it to our destination today. We're on the road doing some business, always preaching the gospel. Got a topic for you men today. Are you an enemy of the church? You know, I get this a lot from people because I have a discernment ministry where I reach out to other teachers, then show them how they're unbiblical, and then when they reject God's truth, then I mark them on the internet because they're teaching on the internet. And oftentimes, without biblical correction, they hide in the dark, but then some of them will come back to me and say, you're an enemy of our church or you're an enemy of God's church. Let's examine that, right? Now, clearly if you're teaching against God's word, if you're teaching um, to keep sinful habits, if you're teaching heresy and false ways, yep, you would be an enemy of the body of Christ. But in this case, I'm teaching them what God's word says, and they're calling me an enemy of the church without any biblical correction back to me. Let's see, is it in good company to be called an enemy of the current day religious people following their own man-made religious, man-made traditions, carnal ways, false gospels? Let's see, go back to the Old Testament. The prophets, and I'm no prophet, but the prophets stood against Israel when they were in sin and Israel hated the prophets for it and killed them. Hey, how about Noah? Noah stood as a righteous man in a perverse generation. No one joined in with him except his family. I'm sure Noah was looked at as an enemy of those people. Hey, how about Jesus himself and his ministry? Go read Matthew 23, how he went at it with the Pharisees, the religious leaders, because he was teaching the truth. They were teaching a bunch of corrupt and perverted man-made traditions. Yeah, Jesus was an enemy of the current day church. Let's see, the, the prophets were enemies of the current man-made pharisaical system. How about Apostle Paul? Yeah, go read the entire book of Galatians. Paul was an enemy to the Jews teaching circumcision and keeping the law. Huh, it seems to me I'm in pretty good company if I go with God's word to people and then they say to me, you're an enemy. Uh, recently, I wanna bring this example up. Recently, there's an Anabaptist type man, you know, Mennonite, Amish, that type of faith that I called out and tested as being unbiblical. And he told me I'm an enemy and I'm persecuting the church. Now let's see, his Anabaptist forefathers believed what I believe and they were hunted down and killed by Roman Catholics and by evangelicals, tortured and killed they were considered the enemies of the church. Do you see where I'm getting at here, men? If you stand on the fullness of God's word, if you preach the biblical gospel, faith, repentance, new life, holiness, obedience, and enduring in your faith for eternal life to come, if you teach coming out of the world and man-made religion, if you call out the teachers of their sinful ways and publicly expose them as 1 Timothy 5 says where to do, yep, you become an enemy of the modern day church. So we're in good company. Noah stood through it. The prophet stood through it. Jesus had to stand through it. Apostle Paul stood through it. We're gonna have to stand through it in these last days. It's gonna get worse in the great tribulation. Just wanted to ask you men, because of how you live, because of how you preach, because of how you test and call out other false teachers to warn your neighbor in love, are you an enemy of the church today, a modern day church? If you're not an enemy of evangelicalism, Roman Catholicism, Mormons, Jehovah Witness, all the other cults out there, lukewarm Christianity, worldly Christianity, if you're not an enemy of them, you are in a terrible unbiblical state. And I wanna warn you about that. Hey, go to don'tperish.com. We teach you the biblical gospel. We teach you the true New Testament body and we call out the false ways of man-made religion, yeah, that makes us an enemy of the modern-day church. We're okay with that. Jesus said the world will hate you, but he loves us because we're his own. Hey, check out that sunset. sunset. Till next time, this has been Brother Jim. Hope you have a glorious day. Let me know how I can help you. May God be praised.